in just about a month's time from now, almost a billion people will get a chance to go to the polling booths and to cast their vote to elect the next government in India. This is going to be the world's biggest election, one that rightly justifies the tag of being the largest festival of democracy anywhere in the world. On Saturday, India's Election Commission announced the six-week-long general elections in the country that will kick start on the 19th of April. The polling process will stretch across seven phases, with voting starting at different times in different states. The counting of the votes will take place on the 4th of June, and the results will be announced as they come on the 4th of June. Uh, schedule of the Lok Sabha poll, we'll do it in seven phases, as was done last time. Seven phases. And in the country, uh, 4 June ko counting will now, each phase of the elections will last about a day. They'll be spread over several seats across multiple states, densely populated cities and far-flung villages. The staggered polling will allow the election commission to deploy tens of thousands of officials and also will allow for the transport of voting machines to various locations and along with the security personnel. The Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who's been in power for 10 long years now, is now eyeing for another five years in power. Now, the Prime Minister had this time round has set a target of 370 seats, which is well over the two-thirds majority mark, and also 400 plus for the National Democratic Alliance that the BJP heads. In the 543-member lower house of the Indian Parliament called the Lok Sabha, the BJP last time round 303 seats, and the NDA together had won 353 seats. Now there are multiple surveys and pre-polls, opinion polls that are doing the rounds, which are giving a comfortable majority for the Bharatiya Janata Party. But always look at these opinion polls and surveys with more than a pinch of salt, because many of these so-called sophologists often get their predictions wrong. It is the people of India who ultimately, with the power of their vote, will decide as to who will be the next Prime Minister. Now, the Indian Prime Minister has been showcasing India's economic growth, with India having been the fastest growing major economy for the last several years now. now the Indian Prime Minister also is trying to project India as a major investment and an infrastructure hub, along with several of the welfare programs that he has come up with for the poor. Now, addressing a rally in Karnataka's Kalaburgi, the Indian Prime Minister launched a scathing attack on the Congress Party, which is at this moment the ruling party in this state. Karnataka <laughs> mein. आप लोगों का कांग्रेस के लिए जो आक्रोश है वो मैं भली भांति समझ सकता हूं कांग्रेस एक ऐसी पार्टी है जो चाहे कितने भी कपड़े बदल ले कांग्रेस की करतूते नहीं बदलती all right, so that was, of course, the speech that the Indian Prime Minister gave in Kalaburgi in Karnataka, a state where Canada is spoken. Now, the BJP is, of course, challenged by an alliance of two dozen opposition parties who have come together in the form of the India Alliance, which, of course, is at this moment led by the Congress Party. The ruling party faces some pretty stiff opposition in states like West Bengal and also in states such as Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Andhra Pradesh. And while concluding the 6,700-kilometer-long Bharat Jodo Nyaya Yatra, the Congress leader Rahul Gandhi took a jibe with the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party. Shuruat hamne kaha ki Manipur mein kyu? Kyunki Manipur mein BJP ne civil war ka mahal bana rakha hai. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.